Hi everybody, Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey here in Lexington at Kroger on Euclid Avenue. It's WKYT Midland Weather Radio Day. We'll talk about that and more storms in the forecast just ahead. State police have now added Madison County to the list of counties where a home has been burglarized and then set on fire. Governor Matt Bevin gives the green light to a bill to improve roads across Kentucky, including one that's been the scene of major traffic tie-ups for years. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon, I'm Jennifer Palumbo. It's shaping up to be another stormy week in the bluegrass. Here's a live look at one of our sky cams in downtown Lexington, where it's cloudy and in the low 70s right now. Today, WKYT has a way you can get prepared in case severe weather hits. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is live at the Kroger on Euclid Avenue to tell you how. Hi, Chris. Exactly right, Jennifer. Hi there. We are uh, at Kroger, and it's another WKYT Midland Weather Radio Day. I've got uh, folks here from Midland. We've got Jim Caldwell joining me now, and this is what we are selling here. And we can give you a discount price on this. We're going to be talking uh, to Bruce Thomas coming up with Midland Weather Radio here in just a little bit. And come meet Jim. Come say hi. Kroger Euclid Avenue in Lexington. We're going to be here through 7 o'clock this evening, so you can get a great uh, deal on a potential potentially life-saving weather radio. How about the storms we've had over the past several days? Yeah, we got more storms in the forecast. A little look outside right now in Lexington. That live sky cam, mostly cloudy skies that continue to show up across the entire area. Temperatures that are into the 70s. Uh, farther north and northeast that you go, though, those numbers are noticeably cooler than what we're seeing across parts of central and southern Kentucky. Defender radar network, not a whole lot locally. We've had those showers early in the day. A little bit of light rain trying to show up from time to time. And as we go on a little broader scale, a lot of that action has been off to our west and southwest. Now we're going to see some more beginning to pick up the pace later tonight and into the day tomorrow ahead of a strong cold front that is out across the Plain States. That will be barreling its way toward the region as we go into the day tomorrow and kind of putting the brakes on. That's going to give us a renewed threat for some thunderstorms around as we go through the day on Tuesday. And a few of those could be on the strong side across not only Kentucky but really uh, much of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley. So that is all the more that you need to come down here and pick up one of the weather radios. So the weather headlines, we are dealing with more in the way of those rounds of storms on the way, not only for Tuesday, but really just about every day for the next week. It's a very stormy pattern that is taking shape. And Jennifer, when I come back in a few minutes, we'll talk more about the Midland weather radios that we have here at Kroger on Euclid Avenue in Lexington. And of course, we'll have a brand new hour by hour forecast to time the return of the storms into central and eastern Kentucky. That's in 15 minutes. We'll see you then, Chris. State police are investigating another house fire they believe was set on purpose. This is the sixth home they're investigating as part of a string of arsons across central Kentucky. Here's all the counties that have been hit. Today's fire damaged a home on Jacks Creek Road in Madison County. Victor Puente has the latest on the investigation in our top story at four. State police say they believe this fire is likely connected to five others they're investigating. Some men working nearby saw the smoke and they were able to put it out before it could spread. One of those men tells me he was working on a nearby farm around 10 this morning when he saw smoke coming from this home on Jacks Creek Road. He says he ran up and grabbed a water hose and went into the home to put the fire out. State police say they believe this is the sixth home that has been broken into and then set on fire in central Kentucky. They currently have investigations in Jessamine, Scott, Garrett, and Fayette counties. They say items were taken from this home and the front door was shattered by that arsonist. The man who put the fire out told me he was glad he was in the right place at the right time. Luckily, coming off the road and being able to come up here and help this, if we wouldn't have been here, I'd say in five minutes or so, this house probably would have been gone. State police say they believe this is all the work of one person or a group of people, not a copycat, because of information they haven't released to the public. In Madison County, Victor Puente, WKYT. The state police arson task force is offering a reward for information about these fires. Lexington firefighters are investigating an odd smell at a building on UK's campus right now. They're at the Plant Science Building on Veterans Drive. They were called there after workers smelled some sort of odor. The building was evacuated and everyone is said to be okay. Fire crews are waiting to get inside the building to try to determine the source of that smell. 
Millions of dollars in improvements are coming to Kentucky's roads. This morning, Governor Matt Bevin signed legislation to pay for highway improvements. It includes a major widening of Interstate 75 in Rockcastle County, a stretch that's been the scene of numerous crashes, including a major one during a snowstorm in January that left drivers stranded for hours. You're probably getting weary of responding to accidents coming around. I mean, I just saw a few miles up the road here, maybe uh, 66, 67, somewhere up the road here. One whole section of the guardrail was just rolled right up on the end. I don't know what put that in motion, but it wasn't something that ended well for someone. The work will include widening that stretch of I-75 from four to six lanes. It's one of the few sections of interstate that's not already six lanes in Kentucky. We'll have more details about the project ahead on WKYT News at 5. Our reporters are working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Amber Philpott joins us from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Amber. Good afternoon to you, Jennifer. State health officials say the Zika virus is not a problem yet in Kentucky, but they are worried it could be, so they're asking people to take precautions now. There's concern the virus could show up because the mosquito that carries it lives here. State officials are encouraging people to wear long sleeve pants and shirts, get rid of standing water around their homes, and to use bug spray. They say they're also ready to spray for mosquitoes from the sky if needed. The Department of Agriculture maintains a contract for potential aerial applications in case populations are become at a level high enough, which would require aerial treatments. Six Kentuckians have tested positive for the Zika virus. All of them were infected while traveling to countries where the virus is spreading. We'll have more on the state's plans coming up on WKYT News at 530. UK fans are saying goodbye to Big Bertha. After 40 years in Rupp Arena, the 12,000-pound cluster of speakers came down from the rafters just about an hour ago to make way for a new $15 million upgrade to Rupp. They were first used in 1976. Rupp will be closed from June through October. All new technology is installed, including a digital video screen. Coming up on WKYT News at 5, how the Lexington Center may keep part of Big Bertha to put on display. That is a look at just some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thanks, Amber. Now to a story making headlines across the nation at 4. North Carolina has raised the stakes in its fight with the federal government over transgender rights. As Omar Villafranca reports from Raleigh, the governor is nowhere close to backing down. Governor Pat McCrory was under intense pressure to back away from his state's law requiring transgender people to use restrooms according to their biological sex. Instead, the North Carolina Republican escalated the fight, suing the federal government to keep the law in place. The state of North Carolina and this governor welcome the opportunity to be part of the solution. The law, known as House Bill 2, took effect in March, but the Justice Department said last week it violates the civil rights of transgender people and set a deadline for the governor to agree not to enforce it. McCrory says it's not just a state issue now, it's a national one, and he wants a court to clarify whether the law actually does violate the Civil Rights Act. By refusing to back down, the governor risks losing billions of dollars in federal aid. He asked other states to join the fight over a complex and emotional issue. How to balance the expectations of privacy and equality in one of the most private areas of our lives. The North Carolina law has already triggered protests on both sides, and activists say it could turn the transgender issue into the next civil rights movement. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Raleigh, North Carolina. The governor's lawsuit asks the courts to block any action that would threaten the flow of federal money to the state, but he'll likely be facing a long legal battle. Krispy Kreme Donuts waking up this morning to a glaze of cash. Details on a billion dollar deal in WKYT Money Watch. And a new way to lift, tighten, and tone your skin. We'll tell you about a facelift without going under the knife next on WKYT News at 4. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has hardwood flooring starting at only $1.99 per square foot. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. 
Shibby Nash Homes is known for the beautiful community of Hatch and Wilkes in the reserve at Greenbrier, an estate community in the midst of beautiful horse farms with luscious green space. And we're excited about Andover Club Villas, luxury country club living at its best, and our first ever Jesmond County exclusive community, the Oaks at Cave Springs, soon to be one of Central Kentucky's most stunning neighborhoods. All of our homes in all four communities feature Anderson Windows and Doors, the most trusted name in Windows and Doors. Your dream home starts here with us. We have something for everyone. So come and see us. The Boot Store is your work boot store. We have pull-on boots, lace-up boots, safety toe boots, waterproof boots, insulated boots, rubber boots, and electrical hazard boots. We have boots for the farmer, the rancher, the construction worker, the factory worker, the electrician, the plumber, and the boss. You will find an unmatched selection of work boots from Ariat, Justin, Thoroughgood, and Wolverine. We have the best selection of sizes and widths, and we know how to fit you. Get your boots at the Boot Store on Nicholasville Road. <laughs> Tom Hammond here for Transitions Lift and Elevator, Central Kentucky's leading provider of stair lifts, wheelchair lifts, residential and commercial elevators. Our technicians inspect, maintain and service every product we sell and even those we didn't install. Our service team is professional, courteous and safety minded, making sure your investment is safe and delivering many years of use. For service, call us today or visit TransitionsMobility.com. Transitions Lift and Elevator, getting you where you need to be. Don't go on vacation this year, bring it to you with your own pool from Backyard Living Pool Spas and more. San Juan Fiberglass Pool Packages starting as low as $25,999. Vinyl Liner In Grounds starting as low as $17,999. And Doughboy Above Ground Pools starting at $2,999. Financing and same as cash available. Don't forget your Hayward and Pentair equipment products as well as BioGuard chemicals and supplies. Hurry in to Backyard Living Pool Spas and more and get your vacation started today. Whether you're moving across town or across the country, Safeway Moving and Storage, a Mayflower agent, has affordable moving and storage services right here in Central Kentucky. Get moving with convenience you can afford. Mayflower, every step of the way. It's hard to imagine what it will become unless you have been there before. How does this plan become what I had dreamed of? You need the right people to take you from the plan to the place. Design, planning, and building, all under one roof. KBC, creating homes that enrich lives. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. The massive wildfire in Alberta, Canada is affecting oil prices. That tops today's WKYT Money Watch. Oil prices fell nearly 3% today after climbing recently. The area is home to the world's third largest oil reserve. The wildfire has caused some oil pipelines to be shut down as a precaution, and production has been cut by more than 1 million barrels a day. Krispy Kreme is cashing in. The donut chain has been acquired by JAB Holding in a deal worth $1.35 billion. The private company just recently agreed to buy Keurig Green Mountain. JAB is gobbling up Krispy Kreme for $21 a share in cash. After the deal closes, Krispy Kreme will become a private company and keep its headquarters in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Nyquist's win in the Kentucky Derby has fans talking about the chances for another Triple Crown winner. And the owners of last year's champion are really cashing in. Triple Crown winner American Pharoah has already earned more than $20 million fathering potential racehorses. That's $200,000 for every foal. Plastic surgery is big business in the U.S. Now the FDA has approved a new facelift that does not involve surgery and is a fraction of the cost of a traditional facelift. Hannah Daniels looks at how it works. Jennifer Douglas wants to turn back the clock. My jowl area has started to sag. I'm a really happy person, but I feel like if I'm not smiling, <laughs> it makes me look a little sad. The 55-year-old hopes this new minimally invasive procedure will give her the lift she's looking for. It's called the Silhouette Insta-Lift. Insert it. Dr. Z. Paul Lawrence says the lift is unique because it uses sutures with tiny cones that are inserted, then completely absorbed. You get the immediate effect of lifting 
the tissue just by placing the suture underneath the skin, but you also have the long-term effect of volumizing the face. As the material is being processed by your body, it builds collagen. Doctors use local anesthesia for the procedure, which takes about 45 minutes. There is really no downtime, a little bit of swelling for 24 hours, and after 24 hours, really no restrictions. Dr. Lawrence serves as a consultant for the company and was involved in the clinical trials. He says studies show the results last about 18 months. Just relax your face. It costs between $35 and $5,500. I feel great. I definitely feel um, the lift. Here's Jennifer before the procedure and after six weeks. She says it was time and money well spent. Hannah Daniels, CBS News, New York. The doctor says the InstaLift works best on patients in their 40s and 50s because they don't have as much volume loss in the face. You can now buy fresh air in a can in the world's most polluted city. Vitality Air will begin shipping to Delhi, India. The two-gallon bottle comes with a breathing mask and is available online for $32 a can. The Canadian company started selling Rocky Mountain Air to China last year. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about at VIPS today, a special program for children in our community. We'll tell you more about it and what they're up to when we return here on WKYT. And back here at the Kroger on Euclid Avenue in Lexington, we are going to be talking about weather radios from Midland and also talking about a stormy forecast that may put those weather radios to use. Stay with us. Rural hospitals closing. Medical help getting farther and farther away. You might be over here and get a call that yeah. you need to be over here. Yeah. And what happens in those certain situations? Here we go. And that's, it's just going to take us a while. Learn how one Kentucky city has taken to the skies to help its citizens. We generally cover area in about 80 mile radius. We generally get called out to the sickest of the sick patients. Rural health care takes flight tonight at 6 on WKYT. I'm concerned about nursing homes that have been cited for deficiencies, like failure to provide quality service or even proper medical treatment. Please, you have to look for signs of neglect or abuse. We have to protect our elderly. If you see signs of neglect or abuse, call us. Don't wait. Your loved one may not be able to ask for help. It's up to you to call. Call Hughes and Coleman right now, 800-800-4600. Enjoy 0% financing for five years and free TVs at Sleep Outfitters. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam for just $4.99 plus a free TV. 0% financing for five years, free TVs, and store-wide savings only at Sleep Outfitters. What started with the drop of a coin continues with dedication and hard work. At People's Exchange Bank, we offer essential business tools and services to help you start, run, and grow your business. Putting our trust and money in People's Exchange Bank for years. All our money. Discover Summer will make this summer fun, active, and educational. Pick up your map to adventure at any Lexington Public Library location. Earn points by attending a library program or trying a new library service. Find a complete list of how to earn points at lexpublib.org slash discover summer. Complete your map to adventure by earning 100 points before July 31st and turn in your completed map at any library location to earn a prize and enter for even bigger prizes. My dad always said God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as you talk if you want to get things done. I moved my office from the top floor to the first floor when I was elected mayor to hear people's ideas. I took their ideas and cut waste, turned a deficit into a surplus, and helped create thousands of jobs. I'm Jim Gray, and I approve this message. Because both parties have good ideas, it just takes someone to listen. The average person takes five to 8,000 steps per day, working, exercising, going about the day. High-tech artificial limbs keeps you moving comfortably. You can choose who helps you walk in the right direction. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Rewind 105.5. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. 
Hey everybody, here at the Kroger on Euclid Avenue in Lexington, we are uh, partnering with Midland Weather Radios for another uh, weather radio event here at Kroger, Euclid Avenue. We're going to be here through 7 o'clock this evening. Come on out. We get you a great deal on a Midland Weather Radio that can literally be life-saving. And we've been uh, selling a lot of these through the course of the day so far. And again, we're here through 7 o'clock. We'll talk to the man from Midland here in just a few minutes. Bruce Thomas will join us. Right now, let's talk a little bit about the forecast as we roll forward. A little look outside right now. And it's been a dreary day overall, to say the least, across Central Central and Eastern Kentucky. Those nine live sky cams from throughout the region all dealing with some ugly weather into most areas. Uh, cloudy skies for the most part. Temperatures though, warmer to the south than to the north. Seeing a heck of a gradient setting up. Those readings have been topping out into the low and mid 70s across most of Central Kentucky, but again, a lot cooler to the north and northeast. That's where we have a warm front that is draped. Defender radar network right now picking up on a shower or two in the northern and western parts of the area. Overall though, it is a little better look that is taking shape across central and southern Kentucky. 24 hour planner. We get that cold front that is off to our west to slam into the region over the next few days. That means we're going to see more in the way of showers and thunderstorms coming into play as we go through the day tomorrow. Not going to rain all day by any means, but when we get those rounds of storms, some of those could be strong second half of the day. And as a matter of fact, parts of the area, especially western and southwestern parts of the region, under a slight risk for severe weather according to the storm prediction center. Farther east that we go, that threat is a little lower. Hour by hour forecast now as we time the showers and storms into the region over the next few days. Out this evening, most areas remain dry, though at any point it's an atmosphere that can spit out a shower or thunderstorm. Now through the day tomorrow, notice how the deeper we get into the afternoon and evening, we're talking about more in the way of showers and some thunderstorms. Second half of tomorrow afternoon, ending of tomorrow evening, we're going to see a little broken line at least of some thunderstorms roaming into town, and that would be our greatest threat for severe weather. Looking ahead toward Wednesday, temperatures really could take off on us with any sunshine. We could hit 80 degrees, if not a few low 80s, and the potential is again for another front in here on Thursday with some showers and thunderstorms to begin the day at least in scattered fashion. Rainfall forecast over the next few days with so much moisture available in the, in the atmosphere, we can really crank out some locally heavy downpours. So keep that in mind. Models, uh, this is a NAM computer model we're looking at, has been spitting out totals greater than two inches of rain for some areas. And as we look ahead now through the extended forecast, next seven days, there's a front that finally makes its way through the region Thursday night. May give us a dr mainly dry Friday. I can't call it a completely dry day as of now. Then by the time we get into the overnight hours Friday and into Saturday, threat is there for additional rounds of some scattered thunderstorms across central and eastern Kentucky. And a chill is in the air for Saturday. We may struggle to get to 60 degrees. Long range call late Sunday into Monday. Oh, guess what? We've got more storms that begin to move back in across central and eastern Kentucky. But again, we are here at... Euclid Avenue, Kroger, and uh, Bruce Thomas, hey. quick word with you. You've got another satisfied customer here, don't you? You're, Bruce is with Midland Weather Radio. He has got everything we need here. Well, you know, she came and said she liked to camp, so yeah. I talked to her to having the one that has the flashlight, it has the solar panel uh -huh. on it, has the crank, and will recharge a mobile device, and it's weather alert. So, uh, you know, we're here telling people kind of either you want a desktop model mm -hmm. or this one with the Cree flashlight. It's amazing if you're going to do, you know, be outdoors or use it in your you car. Recharge your phone with that too, right? Absolutely. And it has a, SOS signal too if you're lost in the woods or uh, maybe on a boat somewhere. Yeah, Bruce will give us an example of what one of these sounds like coming up here a little later on. Right now, let's get a check on traffic. By the way, we're here through 7 o'clock. Let's check on traffic with Officer Don. Looks like the crash we had on the inner loop of the circle of Georgetown has been moved down to the way, so both lanes are open there now. 75 north and southbound looks good. No major lays on the interstate through, uh, through the split. Drive time to Nicholasville, 12 to 15 minutes to Versailles. Pretty good shape right now across the county line. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Officer Don. There's a special place in Lexington helping children who are blind or suffer from visual impairments. Deanne Stevens is out and about today. She joins us from VIPS to tell us more about it. Hi, Deanne. Guys, from the Lexington Hearing and Speech Center, which is the home of VIPS, Visually Impaired Preschool Services, right here within the center. And they are preparing for a tournament tomorrow, a golf tournament tomorrow. But we want to tell you what all is offered within VIPS in case you're not familiar with the program. Something that is unique to our community here. Mary Smith is with us. Mary, what is VIPS? 
VIBS is um, a program for children from birth to five who are blind and visually impaired. We provide early intervention services as well as, well as educational services. At Lexington Hearing and Speech summer programming is paralleling with VIBS uh, summer programming and so on Fridays our children are going to get together with their children and we're going to have extracurricular activities. Some of them are going to be like the master builders will be here. We're having a storyteller, Pachelle, um, will be here as well. And uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun. Rosie's Ponies. Lots of fun for the Lots kids, it fun. sounds like. Now listen, there's this golf tournament, by the way, that we mentioned in the beginning. It's happening tomorrow, where you can take part. Rain or shine, right? Rain That's or shine. <laughs> rain or shine, where you can take part and help out VIPs. We'll tell you how to do that coming up at 450. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys. Thank you, Deanne. If you suffer from chronic insomnia, the best cure may not be medicine. We'll explain next in Better Living. Tomorrow night's Mega Millions jackpot is $150 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $40 million. Just announced from Ford. 0% financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 cash. And now for a limited time, get an extra $1,000 smart bonus cash on Focus, Fusion, and Escape. America's best-selling brand with our best offer. 0% financing for 60 months, plus $1,000 cash and an extra thousand smart bonus cash. Supplies are limited, so hurry while selection is best and see your local Ford dealer today. Tired of painting? Go Rhino and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood, or aluminum. And Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel for home or business. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. After 25 years of defending insurance companies, I decided to spend the rest of my career representing accident victims. I have taught Kentucky insurance adjusters how to value claims. Don't choose your attorney based on slogans or jingles, but on experience and results. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Jennifer Fusen on minimally invasive surgery. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has laminate flooring starting at 69 cents per square foot, including free underlayment with purchase. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Accelerate your career plan. Kelly Services is now hiring production associates at Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Georgetown. Great pay and premium benefits package. For details and application, go to kellyservices.us slash TMMK. It's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Researchers have a new way to help teenagers who are overweight. They say weight loss surgery could have another benefit for obese teenage boys. Researchers in Ohio found the surgery can boost their level of HDL, the so-called good cholesterol. They plan to study the impact the surgery would have on girls. The American College of Physicians has some advice for adults with chronic insomnia. They say to get cognitive behavioral therapy as a first step in treatment. Doctors say the therapy can help ease symptoms with fewer side effects than potentially addictive sleep medications. A new study finds the health benefits of walking and bicycling outweigh the negative health effects of air pollution. Researchers in Cambridge found only in the most extremely polluted cities in the world could the risks outweigh the benefits. And that's only if a person spends at least five hours a week exercising outdoors. The winner of the $430 million Powerball jackpot has not come forward yet to claim the prize. Only one ticket matched all six Powerball numbers in Saturday night's drawing. Lottery officials in New Jersey say the winning ticket was sold at a 7-Eleven in Trenton. The winner chose the cash payout worth $284 million. 
The jackpot was the sixth largest in Powerball history and the largest one ever sold in New Jersey. And now here's what's coming up on WKYT News at 430.